morning friends welcome back to the vlog today is monday september 30th and today is picture day which is why i'm way more glammed up than i normally am um i'm even wearing fake eyelashes i have forgotten that it's picture day like the last three years of my career so i remembered it was picture day today and i decided to get all dressed up and participate so i'm wearing just this black t-shirt from Old Navy, and I love it, it's so soft. I actually kinda wanna go back and get like a couple more, um, cause it's super soft. And I just tucked it into my leopard print skirt. This is super flowy. I got this at um, Fancy That up in Prescott. Um, it's a little boutique, so I don't know if you'd be able to get your hands on this, but I bet if you Googled it, you could find it. And then I just have on my soda platform sandals which i love and then my earrings are these little ear crawlers that i got from my fab fit fun box so yes so a couple things this morning i did get a couple new plants for my classroom and they have me wondering if i should maybe reconfigure some stuff because i want to put them in the window this is a hanging plant, so I need to water it and see if it's gonna drip out the bottom. Cause if it's not, I'm actually gonna just hang it right in the window up there above the other one. And then I got one of these cute speckled plants too. Um, so I'm gonna put him just right here for now. But I really need to like clean that up. Um, another thing I really wanna show you guys. I've been waiting till I got to school. But you guys know my faux Louis Vuitton bag, the like really pretty white creamy one. Okay, well I'm obsessed with it. Um, however, I wanted one for fall time because you guys know everything is better dark in the fall. So I ordered this one and I don't think it's from the same company. I'm going to have to check, but this is like the faux speedy bag and it has like the long strap and I am kind of obsessed with it. The only thing I hate about it is that it doesn't have like an organizer and everything just kind of goes in there. So I'm gonna have to like reconfigure what goes in my bag. But this was 30 bucks and it's gonna be perfect for fall. It's gonna like, it's not as structured as a real Louis Vuitton, but I don't really care. I'm a teacher, I can't afford a real Louis Vuitton. Um, also, I don't know if you guys have heard of Teamy. Um, they're like a, an online tea, a loose tea company, and they sell like different types of tea detoxes. And so I um, I teamed up with them. This is a hashtag ad. Um, I'm not getting paid for this at all. I just received um, the tea and the tumbler for free to mention and review. So I've been drinking the tea for a few days now and I'm drinking the skinny detox tea. It's like the skinny me or something. Um, and I really like it. It doesn't taste funky at all. Like it's, I don't even need honey or lemon in it. Um, and I've really felt myself kind of like losing bloat and the skinny tea is also designed to help with metabolism and curb cravings, curve, curve cravings. I don't know, curve cravings. Um, but I drink this every morning, um, and it's just a quick little 13 ounce, um, tea. So it's not like a huge beverage that you have to try to get down. Um, and I've really noticed a difference in bloat, like I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is um, shark week, so I'm a little more bloated than normal, but I have found that drinking this in the morning has really helped like make me less like hungry and not craving stuff. I'm not as bloated, like my face is even slimmed down, my arms are slimming down a little bit, and I haven't really been working out, so um, I do have a coupon code for you guys to get a Teamy products for 15% off. It's just apples15. I'll link everything down below. Um, I don't get anything from um, this. It's just I, I got to review it for free, and then I get to offer you guys a coupon code. So Mandy has already ordered some tea. Um, they have all different types of detox teas. They have like a skinny one. They have like an energy one. They have all kinds. So 
uh, just go to teamy.com and check out the teas they have. It's $29 for a bag, but it's 30 servings. So you're drinking it for 30 days. So you're spending about a dollar a day. And then the tumbler is 29, which I think is a little bit pricey, but it's cool. This bottom part here unscrews and you can store your tea in it. So if you wanted to do two servings a day, um, or if you're doing a detox and you're supposed to drink two separate teas a day, um, you can store that in the bottom of your tumbler. So that's kind of cool. Uh, again, I will link everything for that down below. Okay, so let's get into the teaching portion of today's vlog. So I mentioned last week that I'm teaching point of view today, and I kind of already showed you guys a few things. Um, I'm going to be doing the anchor chart um, first, and then I plan on doing this little activity. So basically, we're going to go through it together. Um, they read the sentence, they decide what point of view the story is being told in, and then I'm going to have them do like a quick little writing assignment where they write sentences in different points of view using the different pronouns. So we're going to do that today. It'll be just like a basic introduction to point of view, and then I might do a read aloud and see if they can figure out the point of view of the read aloud. And then we're going to work on problem solving with multiplication. So I'm going to print out some multiplication word problems and we're going to use our modeling strategies to go through and problem solve for multiplication. I have a week left of multiplication, about three-ish days before my students take a test on the modeling part of multiplication. So I thought it'd be a great time to start looking at word problems, seeing those clue words that we can find in word problems that involve multiplication, and use our strategies to solve those problems. So we're gonna do that today, and then for writing, we're just continuing on our paragraph writing for, we're writing opinion essays. And so last week we wrote just one reason paragraph, and then today we're gonna do another reason and then tomorrow we'll do another reason. I'm not having them write introductions or conclusions until they can see that each paragraph is a separate reason with its own main idea, its own supporting details. So I know that this is like kind of out of order. Most people teach writing an introduction first, but I really want them to understand that each of their paragraphs is its own main idea with supporting details. So we're doing that first, and then we'll go back and write introductions and conclusions. So because I don't want them to repeat anything in their introduction or their conclusion, so I want them to write their paragraphs first, that way they don't repeat anything. So anyway, I don't have a special today, so I'm gonna get hot to trot on just doing normal chores that I do in the morning, like writing the date on the board, changing my objectives, and getting everything set out for the day. We have pictures first thing at 8.30, so that's really awesome. I don't have a special, so that will kind of take the place of the special. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get to work, and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Let's see how many you find yet. He.
Hello my friends, happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, October 3rd, and we are going on a field trip today. Yes, seatbelts everyone. So we are going to the Crayola Experience in Chandler, Arizona at the Chandler Fashion Square Mall. And um, I'm pretty excited about it. I've never been there, I've heard lots of stories, and I know that teachers get like free memberships for a year for their families, so I might go ahead and sign up for that because if Cash would enjoy it, I definitely want to go. My camera's dying right now, but I am going to plug it in, and I think I have an extra battery. So I'm going to uh, get all that situated and then vlog the whole experience because this year I can film my students. So I'm going to try and vlog like the whole thing um, from the bus ride to the uh, whole Crayola experience. So um, I'm also doing this because I know my kiddos would love to be able to watch their field trip and show their parents what they did. So we're gonna just have fun. Um, as always, I'm wearing like leggings and tennis shoes because we're gonna do a little bit of walking today, but we are not outside today, which is super great for me because as you guys know, I have like really severe heat problems. So um, as always, I have my trusty backpack here and I've got my permission slip forms in there. I've got just like my lunch, um, a first aid kit just in case, um, my water. And then I have all our field trip money um, because I do need to pay. So um, I have that and it's just like all my personal stuff. So I'm also making name tags right now to put on them before we leave. Um, we don't leave till about 9.30. So yay. All right, I'm going to plug this thing in so that I can actually film the whole field trip.